Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Mandakins channel. Today, we are making fabric dividers with cardboard in a suitcase we are upcycling. So you will need a suitcase to repurpose, cardboard, utility blade, yardstick, duck cotton fabric, scissors, Mod Podge or glue, paintbrush, a paper plate, water, super glue, and clamps or clips. Let's get started. This is the fabric we'll be covering it with, and this is the shape of the divider that we'll be creating. Each one is about 19 inches, and the height of each of the dividers is three inches, so I'm marking that in three different places to make sure that my line is straight. And using a yardstick and a Sharpie to mark my line, And then I'm using a utility blade with a razor to cut that. Since the first time wasn't enough, you can take it and flip it over and cut it again. And this will ensure a clean cut. Now you will use the yardstick to measure about an inch from either side. And you fold it in the opposite direction that you made the cut. Now I've got my fabric doubled over, so each time I make a cut, it's going to produce two different panels. I'll be making four dividers today. So to figure the first divider, I'm going to leave some space, and then I'm going to roll the cardboard over and give myself some additional space up top so that I can fold it in later. So I'm gonna use my rotary blade. You can also use scissors here to go ahead and cut your fabric in a straight line. Now I am going outside and I am going to miter the corners, cutting off about 45 degrees of the corner. And then I will check by folding it the opposite direction to make sure that my corners are matching. Now I'm going to mix Mod Podge and water. This will be the adhesive that I use to apply the fabric to the cardboard. I'm just going to gently mix that with my paintbrush. And it takes a little bit, so just be patient and make sure that it's mixed thoroughly. Now you want to use the brush to apply the Mod Podge water mixture to the fabric directly. And then you'll want to apply it to the cardboard. I'm doing this over the top of another piece of cardboard in order to protect my surface. Then I place the cardboard inside about halfway and I begin to fold the bottom up. And I apply more glue as needed. Personally, for large areas, I prefer a paintbrush. However, when I am working with materials such as Mod Podge and water or glue, I'm not too concerned about getting it on my hands. So I will use my fingers to apply glue when the paintbrush just doesn't feel right. And now I am folding in the sides. And once I have that completed, I fold the top down and I'm careful to make sure that I kind of fold in the end and then I take my scissors and press in the crease where I want the divider to fold and then I apply another coat of Mod Podge to ensure that they'll be stiff. Here are the completed dividers. And I use super glue and clamps to hold these in and basically just apply it on either end of the divider where it meets in the suitcase and place them evenly. Once that's dried, you can remove the clamps, fill up your new display. 
These are masks which I have made during the current crisis with COVID. If anybody's interested, you're more than welcome to check out my shop at megan.me, it's spelled M-A-K-Y-N dot M-E forward slash shop forward slash mandicans, megan.me. It's a really great community that I designed to be the change that I wish to see in the world and provide artists and crafters a place to share and sell their work and help them pocket more of their hard-earned money. So this is the suitcase that I have upcycled and I painted it with chalkboard paint and I've graffitied it with a few stickers. Voila! And this is the finished display. Super cute, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching and if you found value in this content, please give us a thumbs up and do check out my shop on Macon.me. It would be super if you guys uh, decided to join me in the community and making the world a better place. Thanks so much.